Yes, hello and welcome back. Code with SDM here. And in today's video, I want to share with you one of the quick updates that has been released by Laravel team. So on the release of Laravel version 12, we had the release of three uh, or the introduction of three uh, starter kits which help you to scaffold your application with the authentications and we have React, View and Livewire starter kits which help you to scaffold your application on the data um, kit side. So on the uh, previous two days, I guess uh, Laravel has released the, the new update, which is two-factor authentication. And now it is here on the on this documentation of data kits. So if you visit this section on data kits, on this side, you will see we have this option called the two-factor authentication. So now you can be able to see what is happening here by following that link. So here you can see this is the two-factor authentication. And basically, in order for you to be able to use this two-factor authentication, you need to have a Laravel 12 application and then you have any of these data kits. So you can just install either the React one, View, or Livewire. So under the hood, the two-factor authentication is created by using um, Laravel 45. So that means it will help you to generate the uh, one-time BSD password. So you can see this is using time BSD one-time password, this one, okay? So in order for you to be able to use this uh, two-factor authentication feature, so I'll demonstrate it to you in a very, uh, very quick way. So let's just go to the Laravel HUD. But uh, I guess the simplest way is to just to create a normal Laravel application. So you can just create it from here. So for example, I created my Laravel 12 application here on the Git bash. So I'll zoom a little bit so that you can see. So I'll say Laravel new, then I'll give the name of my application, which we'll call it uh, Laravel 12 two factor authentication and then I'll click enter and this should give you the option to select uh, the starter kits so if you don't see this option means that uh, your Laravel installer is not uh, up to date so you just need to rerun this command so that you can be able to um, update the Laravel installer and after that you should be able to run this command and then it should be able to see these options. So for now let's create the uh, application by selecting the live wire. So I'm going to show you by using the live wire starter kit. So if you plan to use the React on your Laravel application you can use that and if you want to use view you can just select that. So because I want to demonstrate to you by using live wire so I'll type here live wire and then I'll click yes and then on the authentication I'll use the built-in authentication of Laravel and then here I'll select yes for Laravel Vault and for here I'll just say yes. So this will start to create our Laravel 12 application with the Livewire starter kit which uh, in it we're going to see on how we can use the, the new feature that has been released. So on this side, uh, you can see I have my phone opened here. So because we are going to see on how that two-factor authentication uh, is going to work on uh, on a real action. So I'm going, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, authentication app. So to control how the one-time password will be used for in your Laravel application. So let's give it a time. Right, and here you see it is asking you for if you want to run the npm install and then the npm build. So I'll say yes. So this will build the assets of our application. Right, now our application is complete. So now we can be able to go into our application by using this command. So we can just say change directory Laravel 12 to factor authentication. So now we are inside our application and we can open it into our VS code. 
alright and now we can be able to run our application so we can say php at sun save right so you can see now the application is running on this uh, url so let's open it here on our browser it will be that one yeah so you can see the level 12 app is uh, is run is running successful so here we can be able to register our user Yeah, and here is our registration form. So let me just create a dummy user and then I'll create an account. Yeah, and you see we have been redirected to the dashboard of our application. So this is the dashboard that is created automatically when you install the Laravel 12, which has live wire starter kit. And it is similar to even when you use either React or Vue. So all of them will create a, an application with this uh, layout. So here you will see you have an option to go to the settings of um, application. And here on the settings page, you see now uh, we have this option called the two-factor authentication. And when you open it, yeah, you see something like this. So first you need to confirm the password. So you need to re-enter the password of the logged in user. So basically I just re-enter the password and then I'll confirm. Yeah, and here is the page that we are supposed to see. So by default, you can see this uh, is disabled. You can see the status of two-factor authentication is disabled by default. So when you want to enable it, so you just need to click this button. But uh, before we go there, you have to understand the following. When you are creating a Laravel 12 application, there is a step here of creating migrations of your application. So these are default migrations. So here you can see there is this new migration file that you will be created, which is called the add two factor columns to the users table. So means in your users migration file, now you have this new uh, migration file, which is uh, added or, uh, specifically for adding these three columns. So the two factor secret, two factor recovery codes and this one for two factor confirmed at so those are the fields that will be added to the user's table okay so they will be appended to this table so now means your application is supporting the two factor authentication and it is disabled by default so to enable it uh, means we need to go here and you are supposed to click this one and after clicking that it, is show, it should show you this um, actually a QR code that you can be able to scan it and after that you can be able to enable two-factor authentication. So that's why I had this uh, form opened so that I can demonstrate to you on how to uh, enable this. So for that, I'll just open my Authenticator app which you can be able to get it from um, either or whether you're using an Android or an iOS. So there is different uh, kind of uh, authenticator app, but uh, the most uh, popular, the one from Google. So you can download it like this one. So after that, we can open it in a phone. Yeah, and this is my application. So now I need to click this uh, button, which is for adding a new authentication. So let me click that. And here I'll choose the scan QR code. And after that, I'm supposed to scan my QR code so that I can be able to uh, demonstrate to you. So I'll just scan my QR code. Yeah, so here you can see it says the account has been added. So on my phone, now I'll be able to see the account that has been added it will be down here so you can see this is laravel and you can see this is the email of my user that has been logged in so for now means 
this will be enabled so i'll click continue and here we'll see it will ask me to add the authentication code so i just need to copy this one and paste it here so for that i can also be able to like copy it and then i can paste it here see and then you can confirm yeah so you see it is enabled now so you can be able to view the recovery codes so this is the recovery code you can be able to regenerate and now means on our database these data are stored uh, automatically so if i open my database here so let me copy this part and i'll open it via the um, via this one so let me show you i can show you what is inside this database then i can log in and now on users here you can see we have this user that is the same user that you see here on this authenticator app so you see the email is the same so here we have the fields that has been added by uh, the live wire starter kit so we have the two-factor secret which is this one we have the two-factor recovery code which is this one and we have the two-factor confirmed at which is this one so that will record the time that you recover i mean you you confirmed it okay so means now your application have this uh, two-factor authentication enabled so if user logged out from your application and now if they try to log in again yeah so let's paste the email which is this one so let's copy the email and i'll just replace that email and i'll log in and basically it should uh, ask us for the, uh, the confirmation so that we need to, uh, to re-enter the the password or the one-time password which is this one so we need just to copy it from here so let me uh, copy and then i can paste it here okay and continue yeah you see so it works just smoothly so means now our Laravel application is uh, has been added one layer of security so instead of just um, username and password so now we've added another layer of authentication which is a two-factor authentication so that's all for this video um, hopefully you learned something new so you can visit this channel and you can be able to learn more about uh, Laravel so the updates and most important if you want to build the full stack project so this is the right channel so hopefully you will learn something new and it will help you to build what you want to build so thank you and see you on the next video where i'll continue with the real estate application and also i'll be posting the update for uh, filament php so see you on the next video